check that out. I kicked the dirt over. And there it is. Is that going to be stainless steel? Or is that going to be gold? this morning and uh, I'm in this town where this lake is and so I decided to go ahead and just swing over here to this lake and hit it real quick and I see somebody else is already out in the water I don't know if I know him or not but I'll probably meet him here a little bit but I'm gonna hit, get go ahead and get set up get out here in the water and see what we can come up with maybe we'll find a ring or two it's still a, two weeks before Memorial Day and things don't here in Texas don't really pick up until after Memorial Day. So there may be something out here. I don't know. I'm going to hit the, this lake today. There's another swimming area I may hit later on. I got some lakes tomorrow I'm going to hit and also on Saturday. And so hopefully out of those three days, I might find a couple things. So wish me luck. So let's get out there and see what we can find. I've been out here about 30 minutes. So I just got some bottle caps and trash and stuff like this. Got an 8081 signal here, and uh, this hasn't been in the lake too long. It's not silver, it's just uh, an angel with the word believe and peace, love, joy, and faith written on it. But hey, it's something about chest deep of water, and uh, so I'm gonna keep on going out deeper. Maybe there's something out here deeper, and uh, let's see what else I want to get. So, this is a good find. lake today uh, we're gonna see what we can find here and I didn't find anything but that uh, nice little angel yesterday and so hopefully we're gonna find some rings today more people schools out now some schools are out and uh, kids are back out the lake a little bit it's gonna pick up after Labor Day uh, Memorial Day but uh, we're gonna see what's out here so let's give it a whirl well, it's getting a solid 65 and Kind of over here on the perimeter of the swim area where there's not really a lot of activity when people search usually people search in the heart of the swim area but the signals are just very few and far between hardly any coins any trash anything but i got to this 65 it's an old spoon ring uh probably i don't know what type it is maybe silver plated nickel being 65 i'm not sure but uh hey that's something isn't it so probably left over from last year so let's keep on going maybe there's something else out here yeah Well, I just got a beautiful ring. It's got some type of stone on it. It's 14 karat white gold with baguettes on the side. That's really nice right there. When I came in, the lady asked me if I was metal detecting. She knows me. I told her, yes, yeah. she told me that there was a lost wedding ring in the lake. And uh, I told her I would return it if I found it. This could be it. We're gonna take it back up there as I leave. Sorry about the wind, it's real windy today. And uh, we're going to give that lady a call and see if this is, if she can describe this ring, then I'll give it back to her. But the lady said, if this is not her ring, then I get to keep it. So, all right, really good find right there. All right, let's keep on looking for some more. Well, I did find the owner. Uh, 
when I pulled in, she told me that they had uh, lost a ring. If anybody would find it and report it, they would love to have it back. It's kind of a multicolored stone. Got diamonds on the side, a twisted shank, 14 karat gold. This is Patty. Patty, this is Michael Heim. How are you doing? Yes, sir. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing just fine. Uh, so your daughter lost her, her wedding ring, huh? Yes, we were all out there camping and um, playing volleyball in the water. And I guess the water was just kind of kind of cold and her fingers kind of shrunk and she swatted at a ball and the rings went flying. Uh, <laughs> we well, were out there with little sifters trying to go through and oh, goggle them down there trying to find it and we, you, you know, it's just so sandy it just kind of covered yeah. up right away, I'm sure. As soon as a ring hits that sugar sand, it goes under. You can't find it. People think you can do it with mm -hmm. your toes and your fingers, but it's hard. You just really need a metal detector, but... I pulled up today and uh, Liz up there said that someone had lost a ring and I said, well, why don't, you know, in the process of detecting the lake, I'll, I'll look for it. But this ring was actually very deep, believe it or not. It was about six, eight inches deep. It had sit, you know, sifted down in the sand quite a bit, mm -hmm. but I'm going to go back. I came back down to the lake. I'm fixing to get in it right now and I'm going to go look for the wedding band part. Uh, I got the okay. engagement ring part. It's a beautiful ring. And um, so I'm going to see if I can't spend another little bit of time and try to find that for well because i know how important wedding bands are we find a bunch of them i return a bunch of them too hopefully i can go okay. find the other part <laughs> yeah it's a it's a, a small band and it's got like a little u-shape of diamonds so it just kind of sits in in the ring right yeah i know what you're talking wraps about wraps around the bottom yeah yeah all right well wish me luck okay <laughs> yes sir good luck thank all you right. so much you're welcome right. i'll see you later bye bye okay bye bye so let's go back out and uh, let's put some sunscreen on first and uh, see if we can't find the wedding band along with this engagement ring, okay? Let's go see what we can get. I'm down here where I found that ring looking for the wedding band that goes with it and I found this little necklace ringing up like a 25, 30. And I don't really know what it is. It's a necklace, it's some type of nugget. I have to look at that closer when we get in. But anyway, let's keep looking for that band. I love to turn both of them back into it. Still out here looking for that other little wedding band, and I got jumped over the barrier here. And uh, let's get a 9091 signal. I know what a 9091 signal is. That's going to be a silver ring. It's a big old men's silver ring with a chain thing around it. Really nice. All right, maybe I'll find a few more over here looking for that uh, other band. I'm glad I came back. All right, let's keep looking for that wedding band. Well, I found it. Took me about 30 minutes. I found a silver ring in the process though. But there it is, white gold, diamond, little horseshoe, it goes around her stone. She's gonna be so happy when I text her back and show her a picture of this and uh, we'll meet up somewhere and do a ring return. This is awesome. I'm so happy I found that ring for her. I, uh, in about 30 minutes, I went and gridded one direction and went and gridded the other direction, ringing up a solid 40. And uh, I knew when I heard it, that was the ring. I knew it was before I even scooped it up. But uh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy that she got that. Can't wait to return it to her. to meet up with Carly, the young lady that lost her wedding ring in the lake that I found. And I made contact with her mother-in-law. And then uh, later on, she contacted me. And we set up a halfway meeting point at a place I'm gonna exchange and, and give her this ring. Can't wait to see the look on her face. And I know she's going to be really, really excited. So I'm excited for her too. And I'm just happy I could do this. And that was what makes this a part of the hobby really great is being able to give back and to see the look and the smiles on people's faces. That's what it's really all about with me. Anyway, I got a little ways to go to meet her. So I'll see you guys there. Uh, well, this is Carly. Let's stand out of the road right here. Yeah. Well, Thank there you, you go. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. That is, is that amazing. them? Yes, that is them. <laughs> All right. right. It's going to be good to not have my temporary on. Yeah, and then you put the real ones back on, can't you? Check uh, that out. Feels right again. Man, I'm so glad I could do that for you. Oh, that's so nice. Tell me how you felt when you lost them, though. Oh, my gosh. My heart dropped immediately, and you could just feel it. We were playing ball in the in the lake, and they just slipped right off, and I felt it the instant, and I froze. And then everybody else, I was trying to get them to all come over, and... They were gone. Well, I'm glad I could find them for you, though. That's really, it's, uh, 
it makes everybody feel happy. Happy ending oh, on I, that. I cannot thank you enough. Yeah. Thank you so much. Well, anytime you need anything metal detecting, you holler back at me. All I right? will. I have your card now. You do it. You yeah. do it. Just don't wear them in the lake anymore. No. no I won't. <laughs> Take them off I or put your it. number in it. All right. I learned a lesson. <laughs> all right, man. Well, I'm glad you got them back. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, well, I. There you go. To, not for the same reasons. That's right. <laughs> All right. All right, let's go to the next lake and let's see what else we can find. And I just got to the lake. There's my truck right there. And uh, dug a penny. My second target was this 50. Uh, feels like a, I don't know, it's not stainless. Stainless is going to be ringing up lower than that. It's not going to be tungsten. Uh, it's got to be titanium. We bring it up as a 50. It's kind of light. So, hey, I haven't been here two minutes and got this ring. So, hopefully, I didn't jinx myself. A lot of times, when you find the first target right off the bat, you don't find anything else. So, uh, but we'll see. We're going to make a few sweeps through here. I'm getting really burnt and uh, going to call it a day. I'm going to give this about an hour. If I'm finding stuff, maybe two hours. All right, let's keep on rolling. Well, I was getting a solid 85. And uh, it is a silver Benz ring with diamonds and maybe black diamonds. I have to test those when we get in later on and see if they're real. But that's a nice ring. That fits my finger. All right, man. That's ring number six for today. And I'm still going to go out to late tomorrow before I conclude this video. Uh, we'll see what else we can get here today. I'm about burned up and ready to go home. So we're going to give it just a little bit more. And now I've got a little bit more energy to go out and hunt a little bit more since I got this one. So let's keep on at it. All right, made it out to my lake. I'm going to hit three swing areas today and see what we come up with. No one's here this morning. So hopefully I'm going to find some goodies. I don't know. Just depends on how many people are here. So let's jump in the water and let's see. Got me an 8081 signal. It's just going to be an aluminum junker ring. I think it's a bubble gum machine ring. But uh, I'll take it. It's uh, the first find I found out here in this place. I've done a little bit in the front half over there and just working this back half. I think I'm going to hit the beach a little bit today too. I saw a lot of sand uh, disturbance of footprints and stuff like that. So. All right, let's keep on going, see if we can't find a gold or a silver or some good ring, not the bubble gum ring. I decided to come up on the beach and just kind of hit it, and I didn't get any signals, no money or anything. I was just going to go back in the water and wash my shoes off and my detector. It got sand all over it. And right on the water's edge, I, right before I got to the water's edge, I was getting a 40-something signal. And check that out. I kicked the dirt over, and there it is. Is that going to be stainless steel? Is that going to be gold? Let's go wash it off down here. See what this might be. I can't read with my glasses on. Let's see here. I think it's just going to, no, there it is. It's 10 karat gold. Check it out. I don't know if you can see it right there. 10 karat gold ring right there where my detector is. Huh, I may hit this side. I only did that side over there and just walking back over here. So I think I'm going to do that side now. All right. I'll take a 10 karat gold ring. Looks like it's gold and silver. Oh, it's got writing on it. It says forever love. It's got hearts on it. Let's see, forever love. 10 karat gold ring. I'll take that. All right, let's keep looking. Maybe there's going to be another ring out here. I was getting a 42, real choppy signal, and uh, it's going to be a stainless steel ring. It's not going to be gold. Gold can ring up as a 40, 42, um, but usually it's a good solid signal. It's not going to be real choppy unless the, uh, the metal has kind of got some breaks in it and stuff like that. But this is a real choppy uh, 40, uh, 42. 
looks like stainless. I didn't see anything in there. It's not heavy enough for um, tungsten. There's a loud truck there. Anyway, I'm just about finished with this swimming area. This is the third one on the lake today, and uh, I'm about wore out. I did, uh, that's my third day in a row to go detecting. And uh, so I just wanted to show you guys this. We'll make one more sweep through and see what we can find. Then we're gonna head to the house and do a wrap up. Well, I made it home. I spent the last three days out at the lakes and uh, paid off. More people are getting out there. The water's getting a little bit warmer. Lots of sun, school's out. Lots of sunburn, and uh, had a real good time. Found found a quite a bit. I was quite surprised that I found as much as I did, and I uh, didn't find but two things today. But the best day was yesterday. But the day before, I only found that one angel-looking thing. But anyway, I uh, got it all laid out. Let me show you what I found. Lots of trash. That's always a good sign that uh, that hasn't really been detected that much. And um, check that out. It's a fingernail. I never dug a fingernail with a jewel on it like that. That's kind of weird. Uh, all my fishing stuff. Bottle caps or in, uh, well, aluminum caps and bottle caps. I got uh, beaver tails and the, the, the uh, square pull tabs. A lot of these different uh, vape pens that the kids are smoking and just throwing them down the water. They ring up like in the 80s. Ring up really good. I think I got 10 of them. So, quite a bit of trash this time around. Um, found me a pair of sunglasses. And I got uh, one, two, three, four dollars and quarters. I got 10, 20, 30, tw uh, 10, 29 dimes. I got five nickels and 16 pennies so quite a bit of change that's going to go to my church we're taking up change on missions for uh the ukrainians and we're sending this money over we collected about three or four hundred dollars already in change so that's going to go in the church tomorrow i did find a knife pretty nice knife i'm not sure on the brand but it's a it's, i'm going to start putting that on my uh, detecting pouch found this peace love joy and faith believe little that's not too old that's still uh that in the water that long found some type of nugget not really sure what that is but it is a necklace some type of nugget another piece of necklace there or actually it's a bracelet I believe a couple of earrings and then I got S and J here I got a heart from S and J and here are my rings I found eight rings this time around there's a aluminum ring then I found a I guess that's a silver plated spoon ring then we found that uh, stainless steel ring. And I believe this is going to be, it's not stainless steel. It didn't ring up like stainless steel. It rang up much higher. I believe it's going to be titanium. Though There's no markings on the inside. It's light like a titanium, but it's not aluminum. It doesn't ring high like an aluminum ring does. It rings, that was ringing up like a 50, and that's usually titanium. Got a nice big silver ring here. That's going to clean up really nice. Mark 925. I got another nice uh, black diamond, and they are diamond. I did test them. They are diamonds. Real nice uh, men's silver ring there. And then I found this. It says um, Forever Love, and it's white gold on the outside and yellow gold on the inside. And it is, uh, it is 10 karat gold. I don't know if I can find there it is excuse me that's that's gonna say 18 karat gold I thought it was said 10 earlier that's 18 karat gold ring white gold and yellow gold on the inside that's really cool found that on the dirt as I was going back down to get my detector and wash it off I had no idea there we can see it better right there that that was gonna be an 18 karat gold ring Wow that is crazy. Then I found that young lady, her ring. As I'm making this video, I have not uh, delivered it to her yet, uh, but these two go together. I found the, this one, and then uh, after I found the, this one, and we made contact with the owner, she said that she had lost the wedding band part, so I went back and looked for it and found it. Now I've got the set and make contact they just let me know when the uh the time and place 
and that uh, hopefully you've already seen that in the video but anyway as I'm making this I haven't given it back yet they haven't called me so three gold rings two 14 karat one 18 karat two silvers titanium stainless and uh, silver plated and copper junk and so that was a good week three days I should say at the lakes so there's all the trash and here's all the treasure like I always say the greatest treasure isn't what you can go out to a lake and find the greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven keep searching keep looking up until we meet again I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless mm -hmm.